Let's look at the bond angles for BF3. This is boron trifluoride. So to do the bond angles, to really understand them, we need a valid Lewis structure. This is the Lewis structure for BF3. If you need help drawing this, there's a link at the end of this video on, on how to do the Lewis structure here for BF3. It's a bit of an exception because boron only has two, four, six valence electrons, but that's okay, boron's an exception to the octet rule. So we have these six electrons shared with the fluorines. We have one, two, three fluorine atoms, and then there's no lone pairs. So the fluorine atoms, they're going to push away from each other to be as far away from each other as they can. And that gives us what's called a trigonal planar molecular geometry. It kind of looks like this here, where the borons are spread out in a plane around the boron atom. But let's look at this in three dimensions to really understand the bond angles for BF3. So you can imagine the boron, that'll be the purple here. We're going to put three fluorine atoms, one, Two, you see they spread out. Right now we have a linear molecule. We put the third one and we have a bond angle of 120 degrees because we have a trigonal planar molecular geometry. And you can see that those fluorine atoms, they're in a plane around the boron. And the bond angle again, 120 degrees. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So the bond angles for BF3, they're going to be 120 degrees. That's because we have this trigonal planar molecular geometry. This is Dr. B with the bond angles for BF3, boron trifluoride. Thanks for watching.